Welcome back gamers, this is Winter. So in this episode I wanted to talk about uh, tourism. Uh, kind of neglected it in, in past videos just because I wanted to do it all at one at one time. So in order to get tourists on your planet you need to build a spaceport which is, I've built a lot of them here along here, these uh, buildings. They're, they're similar to the landing pad. Every so often they'll bring a tourist to your planet um, or colony. And then I'll kind of review all these tourist buildings. So I'll start with one of the simpler ones, which is the motel, which is kind of hidden behind this other building here. But you can see the details here. So it's it houses four workers, but it houses 12 tourists. Not houses, but yeah, I guess houses. So in order to get the, the, the spaceport gets the people on the planet, the tourists on the planet, but they need a place to stay. So there's the motel is kind of the basic structure. It's like housing, but for tourists. So 12 tourists. Uh, and then there's the, the hotel, which holds 120 tourists. Uh, there is the luxury resort, large resort, sorry, which holds 1,200 tourists. So these are kind of the, I think this is the biggest tourist uh, housing kind of building. And then there's some some kind of tourist buildings that generate income. So there's the small casino, some details here. Uh, it, it holds 100 tourists. And you can see they charge a mission of $10. So every time a tourist comes through here, you'll make some money. There's the small gift shop. Um, there's the restaurant, holds 15 tourists, admission $2. There's the museum. Um, this one holds guests for like colonists can visit it, but tourists can also visit it. Admission $3. Um, and then this big giant building here is the outdoor shopping mall. It holds 2,000 tourists and charges $10 admission. It also holds 100 guests and uses 500 workers. So this is one of the biggest and best tourist buildings. Um, and then there's the zoo, which holds 750 tourists, charges $10. So that's kind of a overview of tourism. You can see details about tourism in the stats menu. So if you click, well, it's, it's, it's accessible off the top left here under statistics. So tourism, one of the menus kind of halfway down the stats menu is tourism. So you can see current tourist, tourists, the total number of tourists that have kind of come and gone to your colony and the total income generated by the tourists. So uh, I let the I let the game run for about eight hours, and I generated about five hundred thousand dollars, and that's pretty terrible compared to some of the other like ways to make money in the game. This is why I haven't really built a lot of tourist type things in the past, just because there's more efficient ways to make money. I mean, it's cool and neat, and maybe I'm not doing it in the most optimal way, but just as a, another example, these these aluminum generators, they generate, uh, let's see, let's see how much they generate overnight, over an eight hour period. So, can't find my, uh, So the aluminum generators over an eight hour period generate about 100,000 aluminum. And we can sell right now. I mean, the price is inflated right now, but we can sell 10,000 aluminum for 18 million. So compare that to like 
building, that big chunk of tourist type buildings. So let's just sell some for fun here. So I think that's, that's all I wanted to say about tourism. Um, make sure there's pathways to be able to get, allow your tourists to walk in and walk out. I'll actually turn on the the rendering so you can see you can see them walking around if the game shows it. Maybe it doesn't render them once there's so many people. Could be. Yeah, I think it doesn't render them when it when when you hit a certain population because it it would just be too crazy. You can see that oh there's one right there. This guy down here. Jack Carter. Oh actually he's a colonist, he's not a tourist. The tourists have like cameras, they hold cameras up in front of their faces. You can see the money being generated though from these buildings. One thing I should note, like the large resort, for instance, it requires an input of cloth to function. And we we don't we don't actually have a source of cloth. We haven't built um actually we have, but we haven't built a lot of the textile mills which you need to generate cloth. Textile mills consume wool and turn it into cloth. Here's a tourist here, this little guy. He's got a red cap. You can't I don't think you can click on them though. Anyway, so we don't have a we don't we haven't built sheep farms which generate wool and the wool goes into the textile mills. We haven't done any of that. Um, so instead we just buy cloth or buy wool and turn it into cloth. So I don't I've never even worked out the cost of like what the expense of the cloth is to generate the money from these buildings. So there's there's basically an expense as well. If we go into our stats menu under resources we can see cloth usage. So our textile mills are pumping out 70 but our large resort is consuming 100 so we need to go into the market to buy cloth once in a while to keep these buildings running. Uh, the shopping mall uses cloth, the hotel uses cloth, and the clothing sweatshop uh, uses cloth. I actually quickly review these two buildings down here. There's a clothing sweatshop, clothing sweatshop which uh, employs 240 workers, so it's pretty good that way. But it consumes cloth uh, and it generates money, so $75 every so often. And then there's the toy factory, toy sweatshop, <laughs> which I shouldn't laugh, but it uh, it consumes plastic and generates toys, which is used in, toys are used in the, in the shopping mall, I believe, just to see. Outdoor shopping mall consumes cloth and toys, yeah. So this provides a source of toys. They generate 75 every so often. It also employs 240 workers. So these are pretty dense forms of employment. And one of the, one of the two types is generating money, which is good. Not sure if these generate cash as well. I don't think so, but just toys. So that's it for this episode. Um, just wanted to talk about tourism as a thing. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, please like this video um, and subscribe if you want to get future updates about other videos. Thanks for watching.